Square Peg, Round Hole, written by Kathleen Hassan and Dr. Robin Silberman, Ph.D., illustrated by Dan Hassan. This story is being read by the author, Kathleen Hassan. When Peg was little, she fit in just perfectly with her family. Every morning, her mother would sing, Peg of my heart, your four right angles are a work of art. Her father praised her sharp edges and perfect symmetry. When she looked into the mirror, she was happy with what she saw. Peg would happily count her four points with pride. One, two, three, four, never have I been so sure. She knew who she was and where she belonged in the world. As she got older, things changed. Her best friend, Randy Rectangle, moved away. So Peg had to venture out and make some new friends. Peg also started going to a new school. She rode the bus with Trina Triangle and the other shapes from Polygon Place. Although they had played together since they were little shapes, Peg didn't feel as comfortable with Trina as she had with Randy. And Trina just seemed to fit in better with everybody else. She often wondered why Trina would want to hang out with such a square. Peg didn't seem so sure anymore. If I looked more like Trina, I'd be less out of place then I'd have a smile on my face. So after school one day, Peg inspected her extraneous edge. She tried to hide it with scarves and a hat, but that didn't work. She combed and sprayed her hair into a point, but it just looked berserk. She folded herself in two and attached her corners with a big funky pin. And finally, as half of herself, she smiled into the mirror and said, Now maybe I'll fit in. When Peg got ready for school the next day, her parents pretended not to notice and just shook their heads and looked away. But not Peg's brother, who laughed and shouted, I hope that never happens to me. You're supposed to have four angles, you blockhead. Now there's only three. Peg sat with Trina and her friends at lunch and hung out with them on the playground during recess. She felt like she fit in better now. It took a whole lot of work, but she thought it was so worth it. One day, while swinging on the swings, Butch, the big round bully, came behind Peg and shoved her on purpose. Her pin came loose and Peg went flying. Her four corners unfurled and she hit the ground with a thud. Everyone was staring at her. Butch called out, Square! The circles started to giggle. The rectangles looked away. The triangle started to whisper. Peg felt like she couldn't breathe as she choked down her tears. Poor Peg wanted to disappear. She whimpered, Look at all those circles, so perfect and so round. And just look at all those friends they've found. Her sharp angles seemed ridiculously pointy, and she would have given anything at that moment to cut them right off. Not daring to take the bus, Peg ran all the way home from school. Nose running, heart pounding, she could barely breathe. I'll be more like them and less like me, and then I know I'll be happy. Peg tried on everything she owned, even the sweater with the big circles on the front, but nothing made her look less square. She poked at her points and taped her four corners down. She took a deep breath and puffed up like a balloon. Peg looked in the mirror and admired her new curves. But as soon as she exhaled, the tape let loose, and once again she was hopelessly square. So as a last resort, Peg snuck into her father's closet and took out his electric shaver. Would it hurt, Peg wondered? But she figured nothing could be worse than what she had already gone through that day. She clicked on the shaver and screamed over the sound, It may hurt to be beautiful, but it'll be worth it when I'm round. Peg took one last look at her four corners, deciding which one would go first. Whichever one I pick will surely hurt the worst. Her hand was shaking as she raised the shaver. She closed her eyes. Just as the shaver nicked her top left corner, there was a knock at the door. Peg screamed, leave me alone. But Peg, it's me, your best friend in the world, Randy. Randy, she whispered from the other side of the door. The razor still racing went crashing to the floor. Randy banged on the bathroom door once again and said, Peg, it's me and I'm coming in. 
Peg screamed, no, wait, but Randy barged right in. Peg couldn't even look at her very best friend. Randy grabbed the shaver as tears streamed down Peg's face. What's going on, Randy yelled as her heart continued to race. Through hiccups and sniffs, Peg told the whole story, the pain, the sorrow, the ugly, the gory. Randy didn't say a word throughout the entire thing, but when Peg was done, she began to sing. Peg of my heart, your four right angles are a work of art. Peg smiled through her tears and said, I don't get it. We're almost the same. You have four corners and so do I. But you seem so cool and I seem so... How do you do it? My Aunt Octavia, with her eight even sides, used to smile and tell me with obvious pride. I love my points, my fabulous eight. If I tried to be something else, I would be second rate. So I figured a rectangle is a great thing to be, and my four corners is what makes me, me. Randy shrugged her shoulders and looked right at her friend. Wouldn't you rather be a first-rate square than another shape and just be fair? Well, maybe you're right, Peg said as she wiped her face. But just give me a minute so I can clean up this place. Okay, okay, I'll wait in the hall, but you better hurry up. Trina's meeting us at the mall. Peg looked in the mirror and saw herself staring back. She touched all four points and knew there was nothing that she lacked. One, two, three, four. Never have I been so sure. Peg held her head high and walked out the door. The end. Or maybe a new beginning. This next section is filled with questions that when you ponder them and really dig deep, you too can learn to feel comfortable being just who you are and be a first-rate version of you. Question, has there ever been a time when you felt like you just didn't fit in? Describe how you were feeling and what was going on inside you. Question, what is it about you that makes you different than anyone else in the world? Question, what do you like best about yourself? Question. Have you ever done something that you knew wasn't right just to fit in? How did that make you feel? Question. If there was one thing you could change about yourself or your life, what would it be? How would things be different if you did change it? And is there anything you could do to make that change right now? Question. If Peg was your best friend, what would you say to her? I hope this story has inspired you to become a first-rate version of you. Why be a second-rate version of someone else? There is no one in the world quite like you. For more information about how to bring the Square Peg Round Hole program to your school, or if you'd like more information about life coaching, and how to get a coach in your corner to help you become the amazing person that you were born to be, please visit my website at www.kathleenhassan.com. The world is waiting for you to shine your light. Dare to be you.